Long before George Orwell wrote 1984, he had plenty to say about dictatorships and totalitarianism. He even signed up to fight against fascism in the Spanish Civil War and narrowly missed being killed when he was shot in the throat. Apparently his voice was never the same after that, but to my knowledge no audio recordings of him still exist, which is a shame because he worked for the BBC during the Second World War. One of the tactics he wrote about, which was used by dictators and tyrants, was to dehumanise the enemy, to make it easier to accept their slaughter, and easier for soldiers to pull the trigger, or use the bayonet, or press the button at the appropriate moment. Hitler didn't consider Jews or homosexuals or anyone sympathetic to them to be worthy of being part of his master race, but this tendency to view other humans as inferior isn't just restricted to Stalin, Mao and other obvious dictators. The British used to refer to the Germans as Huns, and I've heard people myself talking openly about going to Northern Ireland to do a spot of paddy bashing. This was in the mid-90s. Fortunately, things are a bit more peaceful there now. The point I'd like to make is that any tendency to regard other humans as inferior can lead us down dangerous avenues. This might seem quite trivial at first, but bear with me. A lot of people I know, friends and those I'm less agreeable with, often use the word troll to describe other people they don't agree with. First of all, let me say that in my home country of Norway, a troll is something like one of these guys. But the word is now commonly used to describe people who are deliberately argumentative troublemakers and those who get their kicks out of causing upset and distress. No matter how much of a scumbag someone is, I think it's important not to lose sight of the fact that they are a human just like you and me. But this word troll gets chucked around so much and is often used with words like subhuman. I've been called a troll myself many times and I certainly don't go out of my way to upset people. The thing is that it's become a term of derision and is applied to anyone who holds a different opinion. Is it just me, or has anyone else noticed this uncomfortable connection between dodgy political propaganda and the increasing usage of the word troll? <laughs>